So if we're talking about a finger tapping test, it's really common in all fields of neurology, but it tells us a lot of things in one test. We just have people open up one hand at a time. You take your first finger and your thumb, you pinch them together, and you do that as big and as fast as you can. It doesn't tell you just one thing. It's actually part of the unified Parkinson's disease rating scale, but it applies to brain injuries. It applies when we have simple concussions, and it also applies to autonomic problems. But if you were to count it over 10, we want to make sure that it stays big. We want to see if they hesitate or if it stays in rhythm. But also, we look beyond just what's happening in the hand, because sometimes people will start to do things with their tongue mirror with their mouth. It helps us use a very simple movement to be able to differentiate problems that are unilateral because when we start to see things happen asymmetrically, we really have to focus on changing our treatment strategies because we have to do things that affect one side of the brain differently than the other, which really puts us in a neuro rehab category rather than a chemistry category. We can't use chemistry in a way that just affects one side versus the other. It affects the whole brain at one time, so that's something